Well, me and the chain man are going in for the first spin of 2015. The land of Nada. <coughs> Low tide is in about an hour and a half. Maybe. We're going to put it in south of the pier. See how it goes. I see one looter right now. I don't know who it is. Maybe we'll find out in a minute. Well, the first target is a very iffy signal. It's there, but it's got a double clip to it or something. I don't. I ain't too crazy about it. Maybe it's deep. Be a tricky bottle cap too. Damn, deep, whatever it is. There it is, right there. Oh, got a nice sound. Well, 14 out of the sand. Look at that. Mm. I know it. Listen to that. Twelve fourteen. I know it. Twelve fourteen. Like a nickel or something there, or a gold ring. Yeah. I just got a bullet. A shot up bullet. I don't see no gold ring. A damn zipper. Is it a zipper? Zipper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First target, 2015, a black zipper. What? A zipper. A zipper? Broke zipper. Cool. Well, we just stuck a penny. This could be a penny, a 1241, but it's screechy loud, so I think it's a dime. I'm pretty sure that other guy is Big John. He's going towards the towards the Rudy Inlet. He's going south. Uh, there it is. No, it looks like a quarter now. No, ten cent. Somewhere in there, it's ten cent. Ten mega cents. I got eleven cent now. Hot goose. Stand by. J man just dug a penny right there. And right here I got a 1204, 1205. I like 1204s and 05s. One scoop deep. I like that too. I found a little piece of crap. Can't even see it. Something small. Yeah. Stand by. I told you a little. I don't know what it is, but it's tiny. Got 12 10 here. 12 10. One scoop deep. I don't think I like it. If that's it, I mean. Nope. Nope, that wasn't it. I still don't think I like it, though. Not another zipper. What the hell is that? He's a copper. 
twelve ten. I had a scratchy sound, so I didn't film it, but look, there's some bling. Anchor with blue stones all over it. God. Not the Quito. <laughs> you'll see how Mr. John's making that big job. What do you mean, up, up there? Up in here. Yeah. I was taking something up the dump. Big, big can. Finally, got seven targets coming back in the water. Three of them fell through the scoop, but the first one was the best sound I had all day. My best uh, I don't know. But I, I had two good sounds. One was a pull tab, and the other one was a piece of copper. Yeah, well, I got three fell through the scoop. got two pull tabs. John got the first cell phone of 2015. I was going to stop on it twice, but it just sounded too good. Two feet deep, he said. <laughs> and I knew it wasn't that big, but geez. But here was my whoop. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's I, I need a, a judge on this one. John found a bling bracelet. Let's see what you got there, buddy. Man, I don't know. Looks like it'll be a set or something going with it, you know, like a little key yeah. ring next to it. I don't know. I just oh, got yeah. that about five minutes ago. Come yeah. up in the water. Uh huh. Cool. You look you loaded with all kinds of interesting stuff. Here. Well, I got I got a hodgepodge today. Got a real hodgepodge. But I got a uh, a nitro. Part of one anyway. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hope Diamond. Hope Be Diamond. Care. Hope Diamond, dude. <laughs> when I saw that thing sparkle up there. Oh. <laughs> Damn, they had a lot of people on the beach today. Holiday, I guess, you yeah. know. And of course, first one of those of the year. You didn't get it out down here, though. Yes, I did. Did you? Right down there. Damn. Almost like I have a family's ready. 13 scoops deep. Dog tag. Bowser. Come on, Bowser. God, I need a break. Not many waves today. Big John's right there. Waves are small. I like them. We're almost to the pier now. We'll be there in 15 minutes, maybe 20. A lot of targets, but just no, no bling other than that anchor. And you saw John's stuff. Well, I went two blocks north of the pier and no targets. That's the only target I've seen north of the pier right there. Whatever that may be. What a cell phone. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Some kind of last last thing? A cell phone. No, it's a half. Uh, maybe it ain't. I no, thought it was the top so. to a cell phone. Oh, it's a switch for electric box. That opens up. That's a flapper part for the electric, electric box. That opens up right there, it's got a hinge on it. Okay. Well, it would have, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like a quarter. 1246. Bowser. Down there. Like Just on this side of the pier, I got some more bling right there. That's it. Kind of blingy stuff. Let's see what it is. like a, 
don't know. Chain, wrist chain, all all balled up into a knot. With an earring maybe, or a peace sign, or a marijuana plant sign, or something. We'll have to break it apart when we get home. Maybe. It says cold date on it. I can't tell for sure. Sounded good, I can tell you that. <laughs> well, a nice sound here. Two uh, thousand twelve oh five. One scoop deep. Mm, I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. Probably a pull tab. I've dug a fair fair number of those. I see it, whatever it is. Looks like a crusty old penny now. Why oh, it's coming in at 12.05. Oh God, look. Look at that ticket. That's like the one I dug earlier. I took a picture of. Ha! I can't believe it. Well, I tell you, the damn anticipation is killing me. I get home, it's after one. I'm expecting the mailman to be here, and I look on my steps over there to see the 920 IX stealth. And there's nothing over there. But the mail hadn't come, so maybe it's a holiday, or maybe the mail's not running, I don't know. But the anticipation has got me. I've got it bad. I'm expecting to drive up, and there it be. Could be coming UPS too. And they don't, I mean, they don't come till after five around here, so we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, stand by. You remember a couple days ago we found two big watches. We get ready to crack them open, and one from yesterday. That's in the middle. And moments ago, I got a guy brought me some knives to sharpen. Look at these knives. These are nice knives right here, buddy. I never sharpened any of these before. This is a knife called Survivor. I mean Survive. It's a fixed blade knife about four inches. Comes with a sheath. Quite kydex sheath. And this is the ultimate knife. If you like really nice pocket knives. Really expensive. Made in Idaho. You knife people already know who that is if it's made in Idaho. CR. Chris Reeves. This is the Mercedes Benz of pocket knives, or, some, or one of the Mercedes Benzes. Gallo Military brought it to me. He's getting ready to go overseas tomorrow. Deployment somewhere wants me to sharpen it up. And that one. This is a really nice knife right here. Look, hardly any moving parts. Got a lock right there made in, out of the handle. You see the handle is split. The scale, I should say. They don't call them handles, they call them scales. You flip that baby open, she closes up. That's a nice knife. I don't know what it would cost, but I guarantee it would scare you. Stand by. I don't know much about this knife. Other than call it, that's who's, it's called Survive, and it's got, they make different kinds. And this is an M390, but I'm pretty sure that's the steel. But it may not be. I looked it up and I could I could find a knife, but I couldn't find the exact knife. But it's a nice knife. It's got it's been sharpened. The guy bought it used from somebody. And you can see it's got a the uh, it's got two different uh, whoever sharpened it, it's got them out of line. You know, one's wider on one side and then the other bevel is. See, it's not very wide there, but it's wider over here. It's a uh, fairly sharp. It got a few scratches on it, but that's from the Kydex case, going in and out of the case. You can see it's thick. It's a nice knife for a survivor type knife, hunting knife or whatever you're going to do with it. Big, thick. Okay, stand by. We'll sharpen them up later. One from the other day, and that's the other one from the other day, and that's the one from yesterday. I'm pretty sure that's almost just a bolt. You can almost see the threads on it right there. Carriage bolt 
it was the one from yesterday. <laughs> and the one from the day before, that was a big, big nut. I mean, bolt. And then the other one was actually a nut. Going in the nut fastener business. Damn. I'll open a silver ring would pop out of there. Stand by. Okay, we're getting ready for the roundup. Such as it is, the land of nada. January the 1st. Dog tag, I think I showed you the dog tag. The zipper was a, maybe the first ticket I dug. I don't remember. Some pennies, a couple of dimes. Three dimes, I think. No quarters. They're really nice pennies. God, I hate them. My damn bling anchor with all the sapphires in it or whatever it was, she's already broke. <laughs> That's a fine ticket right there. And then my uh, chain with the, uh, I told you it was a marijuana, marijuana leaf or something, but I think it's a peace symbol. That's another fine ticket. We got the, what, three pull tabs fishing thing some aluminum cold gate okay see you tomorrow I haven't checked the weather so it makes no difference I said it was going to be bad today and it was absolutely beautiful couldn't draw it on paper been any nicer stand by